Nelson was here. We had our NFL Nation mock draft last night with reporters from all 32 teams, which is interesting because they're the ones that should be and often are plugged in, Bill. They know what these teams may do. What was your what was your favorite pick from last night or the pick you agreed with the most, I should say? Oh, gosh. Thinking back. Well, I say one Barkley. Yeah, Saquon number two Barkley. to the Giants. Number two to the New York yeah, Giants. Can't, yeah. can't really go wrong. But and the reason is because he scores touchdowns. You know, you can you can say Quentin Nelson is every bit the same player when you check all the boxes that you do in the draft, but Saquon Barkley scores touchdowns. Do, do you gong Todd Archer in your sleep? I feel like you do. It's like an automatic. <laughs> like, if you're sorry, Todd, just going to happen. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, let's go back to the draft. As it stands, we've got three teams with multiple picks on the first day. The Browns have the first pick along with number four. They acquired that from Houston after it traded up to get quarterback Deshaun Watson last year. Buffalo has the 12th and 22nd overall picks, while New England has the 23rd and 31st picks in the draft. Jeff Darlington is covering the Buffalo Bills for us. And Jeff, we'll ask you this. What's the likelihood the Bills managed to trade into the top five to get that franchise quarterback they need? Well, Wendy, I, I very literally just had a nice long conversation with Bills general manager Brandon Bean and that was among the questions I posed to him, I definitely get the sense that this is a team that is very much in play to move into one of those top five picks to get their franchise quarterback. Now, Bean wouldn't go too specific into the conversations that he had, but he did note that he feels like he has the ammunition, absolutely, to get even as far up to number two for a trade with the Giants. But he also pointed out that he might not have to go that high to get there. And that's where I'll bring into a conversation that I had with another source who tells me to watch that fourth overall pick that currently held by the Cleveland Browns at this point. That's a spot that if the Bills didn't want to give up too much to get to number two, that they could go to number four. One final note on those quarterbacks, Bean did say that he has at least one quarterback that he covets as a franchise guy. There is a guy there that the Bills would like to get. Get your popcorn ready for this one. This could be fun. Jeff, thank you. So they've got a guy, and they want to get the guy. Uh, look, we've seen quarterbacks fall before very good quarterbacks. Aaron Rodgers and Johnny Manziel for entirely different reasons, Bill, but you never know. And the Bills are one of those teams with the ammo to move up and get the guy that they've identified. So take us through how that might happen. Well, if, if, if we, let's presume that uh, Donald went one to the Browns. They're moving for you. Yeah, Tim's going to be your touchscreen operator. There we go. Yeah, he's, he's the quarterback. Good. He's Not got as good better as Todd, hands. But good. Saquon Barkley goes to the Giants. I don't see any way that the Giants trade out of there, at least not with the ammunition the Bills have now. Um, let's give the Jets uh, Baker Mayfield. Yep. You move to three to, for no reason, right? You move there for a quarterback, no, no doubt exactly about Exactly right. Yep. And now four is going to be a defensive player. So the Browns are saying to themselves, what are you going to give us to go down to 12 and get, and, and for us to still get the defensive player we want. Eh, I don't yeah. know. I think 10, that run of great defensive players ends around 10. So the next move for Buffalo would be, uh, and, and let's give them Brad, let's give the Browns Bradley Chubb. Keep sliding over a little bit. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Listen. So. The, uh, we'll presume it. Here we go. So we got Chubb. I'll keep working Chubb. on okay. it. I'll keep working on it. And, and, uh, Chubb and, and so now overall. the next. There it is. The next hot spot is five. is five. But to go from 12 to five, even packaging up 22, you're going to have to have something else. And, and How expensive is this number five pick? That's pretty expensive. Yeah, because, because of all the quarterbacks? As Tim Legwalk told us, that's the, that after, they're getting the second defensive player in the draft right here. And they need defense and probably the first corner. So to give that up, they're asking a lot. Big, big yeah. price. So now let's go down to eight, the Chicago Bears. Mm, interesting. Most people say Quentin Nelson. All right. It's a guard. Yep. Could the, could the Bears go to 12 and get, and let, still get a really good player? Probably. Mm. So this is, the, this is the spot that's certainly in play if the Bears – Take Quentin Nelson, and they say, we'll sit here and take him. This now is definitely in play because to go from 12 to 9 and, and, and throw in 22, that's a fair trade. And guess what? Who's still on the board? Probably Josh Allen, if that happens. Mm -hmm. 
And you so, know John Lynch is willing to move. He, and John he Lynch is that. willing to move yes. because he's got a quarterback. He's not mm -hmm. in the quarterback business. So these two picks, eight and nine, excuse me, these two picks, eight and nine, are the ones – that Buffalo can reasonably move to by giving up 22 and something else. Will they? I mean, you know, is that, you know, they can, they might, they will. What, what do you, if you had to handicap it, you think I it would, works? If I had to handicap it, I would say the Bills going up to eight or nine, that, that's probably better than 50-50 if the quarterback they want. The key is and they that, know, that they, we they heard one, they know so who they want. You know, and I think that's critical information from Jeff. If they like two or three, that's a different deal. If they have one quarterback, one guy they think is the guy that makes a huge difference in what you're willing to do. That's right. And by this standard, assuming that, that Denver does not take a quarterback, mm -hmm. assuming that the quarterback that they have, they have in mind is not there, then you could start to see – quarterbacks fall now they could it could be a pretty precipitous fall at that point yeah and I think well one I think you're exactly right about it you know the interesting thing with Denver is you just look at the Case Keenum deal the Case Keenum deal is is clearly a placeholder deal it's right two years. it's a, yeah. right. a two-year contract which means they are absolutely in the quarterback business and they're in the quarterback business with a top five pick and so now who is their guy I think truthfully for me Saquon Barkley's status what happens with him really is, ends up being the key for me. Because if the Giants are sitting there and they decide they don't go quarterback, I think we believe that it's Saquon Barkley. If, in fact, the Browns are, have been saying, look, here's the deal. We understand we need a quarterback, but I've heard Bill say it, and I know that there's, a, you know, there's other people that feel this way. If you get an Ezekiel Elliott, a Todd Gurley, a Leonard Fournette-type running back, that changes your offense drastically. It's a, that, that guy can be a running back, can be a difference maker, much like a quarterback can be. And so what if that was the situation for Cleveland there? I think the other quarterback that's going to have a big impact on the overall feel of round one, not to overthink things, is Lamar Jackson. Where does he slide? And he, in is this he the fifth draft? guy, yeah. Is he the fifth quarterback? One would presume that he is the fifth quarterback, just behind the two Joshes, Sam Darnold and also Baker Mayfield. But the question is, how much of a gap is there going to be? We heard Adam Schefter earlier on mention not just Buffalo, but also Arizona as a team that profiles as a trade-up candidate. But Arizona want to move from 15 to closer to 10 for a guy like Lamar Jackson? Or do they have their eyes set on a quarterback that is in that core four? And then other teams like Baltimore and Los Angeles. The immediate quarterback need is not right here, but remember, some of the best draft picks are those that don't rear themselves until further down the road. Yeah, you don't need one until you need one, and then you really need one. We yep. know that. Uh, Bradley.